Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're here, chances are you're trying to do a clean install of Windows 10 or 11 on your Asus laptop and you've hit a roadblock. You boot up the Windows installer, but when it comes time to pick a drive, nothing shows up. You hit load driver, but still, no drives listed. That happens because the right storage driver isn't included in the installer. But don't worry, I've got the solution for you. Stick with me until the end of this video and I'll walk you through step by step so you can get past this issue and finish your installation without a problem. Let's get started. What you'll need is a USB drive. It doesn't need to be huge. You can even use the same USB you're using for your bootable installer if you want. We'll be showing it with an external USB. You'll also need another working computer so you can download the driver. The first way to fix this is by checking your Asus laptop's model number. You'll usually find it printed on the bottom of the laptop. Yours might look a little different, but most of them are part of the same family. Once you know the model, just head to Google, type in your model number followed by Asus driver, and you should be able to find the right driver page for your device. The second, and honestly the easier method, is to just download the IRST, Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver directly from the Asus support page. Open up your browser, search for Asus IRST driver, and look for the official Asus website in the results. Click the link that mentions IRST, and it will take you to the Intel Rapid Storage driver download page. From there, simply choose your operating system, Windows 10 or Windows 11. Hit the blue download button, and it should start downloading right away. The file is pretty small, so it won't take long. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder, extract the file, and you'll get all the necessary driver files. Copy those files onto a USB drive. You can use the same USB you already made bootable for Windows. Just create a separate folder on it and paste the files there. Or, like I'm showing in this video, you can use a clean USB. Either way, this is the key driver you'll need to load during the Windows installation to fix that no drives found error. Once you've placed all the IRST files to your USB, go back to the Windows installation screen and plug in your USB so we can load the driver. All right, once you've plugged in the USB, go ahead and click the load driver. Then click on browse, navigate to the folder where you place the driver files, select the folder. I have placed the files in USB root, so click OK. You will see this type of screen, it will load the driver from your USB. Just pick the first one at the top, that should do the trick, and it will start installing. Now, once that's done, you'll see your partition show up. From here, you can finally move forward. If you're doing a clean install, just remember this will wipe everything on your drive, so make sure you've backed up your data first. If you're good with that and want a completely fresh start, you can go ahead and delete all the old partitions, leaving yourself with one big drive ready for the new install. And that's it. Windows 11 will start installing and you're all set. Hopefully, this helped you get past the storage driver issue on your Asus laptop or computer. Any newer Asus laptop that runs into this same problem. This fix also works for other laptops that use Intel Rapid Storage Drivers. If you need help making a bootable Windows 11 USB, We've got a separate video on that which I'll link below. You might need to check that out too if you're starting from scratch. So that's the whole process. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like, drop a comment and subscribe for more Windows fixes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.